I, uh... Mm-hmm. Oh, there you are, sweetie. Mr. Hill's expecting you. Just walk right in. What's the matter, sugar? Can't cut your tongue? Just get your honey in there. Jasper. It's... it's Joe, sir. Uh, of course, Joseph. Uh, how long is it that you've been with this company, Joseph? About two years, sir. Ah, uh, yes, then by now you must know that what we do here is very important. National security may be just a word to most people, Jasper, but for men like you and I, it means so much more. We see the people behind those words. We understand that it means the safety of every citizen in this country, not to mention the shareholders, the hard-working clerks and stakeholders of the government funding agencies. It also means a lot of pressure. A lot. And some men just buckle. Which brings me to the main point of my agenda. A position just opened up, and we're promoting you, Jasper. It, it, um... Sir? Don't think the company doesn't notice its hard-working employees. We reward achievement in this organization, young man, and you've just made yourself a gold star. This means that from now on, you will be in charge of not only yours, but Frank's assignments, too. That's right. That means downstairs lab sanitation, drain assignments, the works, with all the clearance that entails. That's a lot of responsibility we're investing in you, Jasper. I, I thank you, sir. What about Frank? I know you made a great team, but Frank decided to pursue a different career path this morning. We wish him all the best. Oh, and of course you understand that we won't be able to present you with a fancy title or a miserable pay raise. This is a modern company, you understand. We like to keep a flat organizational structure here. I... So congratulations, Jasper. I bet you must be very excited to get back to work with all your new responsibilities. That's perfectly understandable. I won't keep you a minute longer. Here's your key card.
Miss Goulard? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, some, something's bad. The downstairs handkerchief has basement all over the blood. Uh, no, I, I mean... Good heavens, sugar. That rag's got blood all over. Have you hurt yourself again? No, no, it, it's... <sighs> we keep telling you boys to follow company safety policy. I send out memos almost every week. I honestly don't know why I bother sometimes. You may look like capable grown men in those boiler suits, but you're really just big boys, ain't you? But I'm not the one who... No need to explain. Let me just take care of that for you. Now, let's see what Gloria has for you here. Ooh, nice clean band-aid. Just go wash up and put that on. You'll be as good as new. But... Now run along, you little scamp. Sir, are you all right? You're, you're bleeding. Huh, that's, that's a lot of blood. Uh, stay right here. I'll go get help. No! Don't. Don't get anyone. Are you alone? I, I'm not sure what... I asked you a question. Are you alone? Yes, yes, I came down here by myself. Good enough. Listen, <coughs> I'm shot bad. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm also not important. At least this version of me isn't. What's important is that you understand what I am about to tell you now. Should, should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention! You're standing on the brink of an extinction-level event. Set in motion by greedy halfwits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. I know this because I'm partially to blame. And though I realized our folly in time, less sane and more senior heads prevailed. I have arrived from 40 years into the future to prevent it from happening. Things are obviously vastly more complex than this, but 
for lack of time to explain this properly to an insufficiently primed recipient intellect, I am what you would probably perceive as a time traveler. Mister, you've obviously lost a lot of blood. Quiet! I have planned this out in every detail for the better part of my life. And I'll be damned if I will let it fail because of a single gun-toting, overachieving parking attendant who wasn't where he was supposed to be at this point in time. <coughs> Thankfully, you look fleeceable enough to be coaxed into performing one simple task for me. I... I want you to find me and tell me about this event before I depart for the past. You'll need this. What is this? It is a portable interdimensional planar membrane chronosync instrument. It's a goddamn time machine, okay? For reasons you'll quickly come to realize. The device runs on solar rechargeable batteries. Despite this, I want you to keep it hidden until you're out of town. Don't let anyone see you with it, especially in here. Mister, between the blood and all this space talk, you're making me quite dizzy. I'm not sure how I can help you other than by calling security and getting you to an ambulance. Just take the damn device and find me. You find me, you hear? <laughs> Mister? Mister? Help! Help! I need help in here! Stay right there, sir. Uh, listen, you gotta help me. There's a guy in there. He, he, there's a lot of blood. He needs help. I said, stay right there. But I, but I work here. You know me. I Keep your hands where I can see them. Palms flat against the wall. Spread your legs. The police are on their way. Look, I don't want to be unreasonable here. All I want is some simple answers to some simple question. 